Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we're going to learn about how to wake up every morning feeling motivated. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Experimentation Different morning routines work for different people. If you're searching for the most efficient and motivating morning rituals, then you probably notice the sheer volume of options at your disposal. Everything from exercise to meditation to reading the news can boost your productivity in the morning. But there's no way you'll have time for every single one. If you tried to squeeze them all in, your morning would be the most stressful part of your day. Instead, you should be searching for a combination of, say, three to five rituals that fits your tastes. And that way, you're motivating yourself in the most personal way that you can. To discover the blend that works best for you, it's going to take some trial and error. It's helpful to start by basing your first attempt on the morning routine of someone you admire. Let's say you've always looked up to Howard Schultz, the CEO of Starbucks. His mornings start at 4.30 a.m., making him one of the earliest risers among notable CEOs. So, right after waking up, Schultz exercises for around an hour and then enjoys a cup of coffee while spending time with his family. So, what makes this routine so motivating? Well, each ritual does create an opportunity to be physically or mentally productive, but that's not the most important part. Schultz sculpted a routine that works best for his individual preferences. That's why plenty of successful people do completely different things in the mornings. So don't be afraid to experiment with your routine. You can start by copying Schultz. Try out his routine for a couple of weeks. You might realize you work better with a protein shake instead of coffee, or squeezing in some time to journal after your workout. You don't have to decide right away on a single definitive routine. This is a mistake countless people make when trying to transform their mornings. Remember that your rituals are going to keep changing over time. As you get new jobs and experience new environments, you'll need to adapt your routine to your changing lifestyle. This early experimentation teaches you what your body and brain respond to the most, and that way you know exactly how to troubleshoot your routine when your motivation begins to fade. Number 2. Physical Dreams If I asked you what your dreams are, could you tell me in one sentence? Most people can't. They've never challenged themselves to be that specific. In the realm of motivation, specificity is your best friend. The more concrete and detailed that you are, the easier it is to push yourself in the right direction. Once you've landed on a specific definition of what you want, you start your morning by reminding yourself what that definition is. I recommend getting a dry erase board or a cork board. Use them to plaster your definition somewhere up on the wall. You want this to be the first thing that you see in the morning. Before you check your phone or take a shower, you should be internalizing your dreams. But don't you already know what your dreams are? Why go through all the effort? This strategy is designed to create accountability. It forces you to stare down a physical representation of your dreams. You can't avoid them or get distracted. You can't forget what they are or change your definition on a whim. If you see your dreams written on the wall every single morning, you have to acknowledge them. This immediately gives your day purpose and direction. You'll feel more driven to achieve. So don't let your dreams waste away in the back of your mind. Use physical definitions to add productivity and motivation to your mornings. Number 3. Build Momentum Motivation works a lot like a snowball. After you get it started, it'll grow larger and larger as long as you keep up momentum. To wake up feeling motivated, you have to get your snowball rolling the night before. So even though there's an 8-hour gap in between your morning and night, the momentum still carries over. Let's say you spend hours every night watching TV, wasting time, or just avoiding your responsibilities. You feel sluggish and unproductive, so you blame your lack of motivation on the time of day. You tell yourself, I'm too tired right now, but I'll feel motivated in the morning. But how often does that actually happen? When you slack off at night, you wake in the same inefficient headspace. A good night's sleep is important, but it can't create motivation out of thin air. You have to start building productive momentum before your morning even starts. While it is important to relax in the evening, relaxation isn't an excuse to do nothing. 
You should be focusing on activities that leave you feeling happy, inspired, and creative. Use this time to mentally recharge without undercutting the momentum you built up throughout the day. That way, your motivation will keep snowballing when you wake up. You can take this one step further by applying it to your week as a whole. Today's momentum will carry you into a productive tomorrow. And if you keep that up, your motivation will grow exponentially over weeks, months, or even years. Number 4. The Short List To-do lists are a great way to organize your life. They help you rearrange your priorities and prevent little things from slipping through the cracks. But a long to-do list can sometimes be more intimidating than productive. You might find your motivation dwindling when staring down the barrel of a 20-item to-do list. The longer it gets, the more impossible it might seem. So even if each individual item would only take a few minutes, your brain feels helpless and overwhelmed. This effect is especially potent in the morning. If you start off on the wrong foot, your entire day can quickly spiral down the drain. So, how can you make sure your to-do list isn't diminishing your motivation? Well, before you go to bed, ask yourself what you absolutely need to have done the next day. Try and narrow that 20-item list down to your top three priorities. Keep them specific, concise, and manageable. In other words, don't write something vague like, be successful. Not only is it unhelpful, but this kind of ambiguous goal also creates confusion and anxiety. When you wake up in the morning, you should know exactly what's expected of you. You should understand what your goals are, why they're important, and how you're going to accomplish them. If you keep your list short and sweet, well, then you'll wake up feeling confident, motivated, and ready to face the day. Number 5. Shunning Electronics When you go to sleep, where do you put your phone, your tablet, and your computer? Do you leave them right next to you on your nightstand? Most people place their electronics within arm's reach at night, so when they wake up in the morning, those electronics are easily accessible. On the surface, this seems like a convenient idea. If someone calls you, you can reach over and grab your phone. That sounds a lot better than jumping out of bed just to click one button, right? Well, it may be convenient, but this accessibility cripples both productivity and motivation. Spending the first 15 minutes of your day browsing social media or watching random videos puts you in the wrong mindset. It doesn't stimulate your brain or body. When you do finally get out of bed, you'll feel lazy and inefficient. Even if you created your routine specifically to inspire yourself, a bad attitude can ruin your morning. So don't let yourself fall into this trap. Keep yourself from grabbing nearby electronics by placing them further away before you fall asleep. Now, I know it's more annoying, but this small change will boost your productivity and focus. Once you're standing, you're much less likely to lie back down. That means you spend less time on your phone and more time on your morning routine. If you use your phone as an alarm, this strategy also saves you from oversleeping. It's especially helpful for people who love to <clears throat> hit the snooze button. You'll be amazed at how much extra time and energy you have in the morning, all because you moved your phone a few extra feet away. Number 6. Morning Stretches 10 minutes of stretching can turn a lazy morning into a productive one. Stretching doesn't increase motivation directly like some of the other strategies on this list. Instead, it boosts your energy levels and improves your mood, which are both correlated with increased motivation. Physically, 10 minutes of stretching will relieve tension in your joints and muscles. It also stimulates blood circulation and reduces soreness, which affects a lot of people first thing in the morning. After 8 hours of sitting horizontally, your spine and joints often fill up with excess fluid. That fluid makes you feel stiff and uncomfortable, and when you're uncomfortable, your brain can't perform at its best. By stretching every morning, you ensure that your physical body is helping you instead of hurting you. You'll feel more energetic and enthusiastic because you're not thinking about how much your back or shoulders hurt. More blood is also circulating through your brain so you can concentrate and think clearly. Many people start to notice less anxiety as well. The deep breathing that you do while stretching effectively calms your nerves. It stops your mind from racing, and it lets you take a more optimistic approach to your day. 
So, if you're looking for a healthy, motivating way to wake up, see for yourself how stretching can revolutionize your morning. Thank you for watching Top Thing, and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.